is Queen C from When Sisters Get Together, and you have tuned in to Sisters Chat. Okay, so this is gonna be our last question. I told you it's probably gonna be the two part series because we were on fire going in, <laughs> going in at it. If you knew at 16, what you know now, how would you have changed your decisions, educationally, career path, and socially? Oh my God. Wow. I would have taken law, taken law, taken law, and taken <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. I would have taken law, I would have taken real estate, I would have, oh my goodness, if I knew what I knew at 16. Sound like me, I did. <sighs> Education, I did broadcasting, it was broadcasting and law. And I got accepted for both and I was like, I'm going into radio. And my mom was like, oh Toya, you know, that's not a good idea. She was just raining on it. And I was like, <laughs> I think because of that, I was like, no, I'm gonna go do it. And the things that I know now, mm -hmm. if I still stuck with radio, obviously I would have stayed passionate with the whole media, all that stuff. Even now, like I still have an interest for it, mm -hmm. but I was so shy back then. Okay. There were so many missed opportunities, so many missed connections. Now, and I see young people coming up. Not that I'm like bitter or hater or nothing mm -hmm. like that. Or some like. The time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What just was that your opinion? <laughs> no. Okay. No, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, those, there's just things that now when I see younger people or other people doing, I'm like, man, I could have done that, mm -hmm. you know? Now I'm doing law. I'm 30 now, and yeah. I'm doing law now. And it's just definitely when it comes to education, I would have made some major changes. But I mean, that's what kind of made me who I am today. So now um, we had to do some class the other day, and we had to do a power statement on what we bring to the table. And I was listening to everyone else, and I got my master's, and I got this, and I got that. And when I went up, I saw people kind of sat up because they're like, oh, this is different. Like, I'm going to be paralegal. That's the program mm -hmm. that I'm in. Yeah. But I'm like, I also have a, a strong that, um, background in radio broadcasting, communications, and event planning. Everyone's like, oh, this is a little different. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of it made me stand out yeah. more mm -hmm. still. So even though, yes, on one hand, I would change definitely those the education plateau part of it, yeah. for sure. It kind of equaled out. Yeah. Worked yeah. out yeah. in the end. So. Man, you are today. So. Exactly. In terms of me and why I scream la 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 la, um, I think about my rights. All of the rights I do not know about and how they use them to manipulate people and things of that sort, I wish that I just delved into it because then nobody can take advantage of you. Mm. You know your law, you know your assignment of law is your rights, you know how to go about certain things, you know what certain people can and cannot say, you know what they can and cannot do. And these are things they will not tell you because they are afraid to tell you. Because you can no longer be manipulated by the yeah. system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that by far is one of the biggest reasons why I wish I took certain courses is just so that I don't want to be manipulated by the system. Oh, I don't yeah. want my man manipulated by the system. Mm -hmm. and I want my children especially manipulated by the system and ooh, those are the that's probably the one thing that I wish I changed um, in terms of being 16 or being in school. Don't yeah. forget it doesn't stop you, you can still True, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, true. Yeah. very very true, very 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 true. I think for me um, there's not much I would change. Um, I think my teenagers are really great. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> they really um, already they allowed me to kind yeah. of get to where I am in regards to like I had all that teen like I was a teen like some people in their teenagers they didn't get to be a teenager I got to be a teenager yeah, yeah I got to yeah. party I got to you know what I mean yeah. be a teen mm -hmm. and then when it came time to be an adult I got to transform into an adult mm -hmm. and I mean growing up I've always been the eldest I've always had to mature quickly take care of my younger siblings and whatnot mm -hmm. but I still um it didn't affect that whole part of my year. I didn't feel like I needed to be an adult. I didn't want to be an adult, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, one thing I feel like I would change, but just because I love where I am right now, it's hard for me to think that I would change something. That's the whole thing. Like, yeah, I think about going to Humber and taking music. I didn't graduate from Humber, you know, because I was like, 
for me, the second year, I was like, this is crap. Why am I paying for this? You know what I mean? And then I probably could have saved myself OSAP and saved them mm -hmm. calling up my house, telling me I owe them <laughs> and all these hidden fees and all that crap that the Canadian government does. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not fooling nobody. <laughs> Check out my FB wall. You'll see how many oh countries <laughs> there's no fees for their damn education. Hey, so, anyways, <laughs> thank you. So, Canada wants to talk about their debt. No, talk about the citizens' debts for mm -hmm. education. But, anyway, that's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. But, um, I feel like that, being with my passion for music, I went into music. But it didn't really get me anywhere. Like, the education part didn't get me further. But during that time, because I was in Toronto, I was gigging a lot, mm -hmm. that's what gave me my experience. So it was mm -hmm. a hands-on experience. I think I would also have stayed in French, knowing that my kids were going to be in yes. French immersion. Same here. Yeah. I would have yeah. said, after grade 9, I would have said, no, I'm going to stay in French. But instead, I said, one, that's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking French. drama. I'm going to be on every sports yeah. team. I don't need French. I wish I had stayed in French yeah. so that I could, you know, school my kids in their Francais. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could still do that now again yeah, if I yeah. want to. So, but I really look back and at 16, um, I just got so many life lessons that, and you know, there was a lot that were really shaky and not good, but then where it led me to. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like, I can't deny that as yeah. much as I look back mm -hmm. at some stuff that I wish I didn't go through, I can't deny where I am today and how I'm so at peace with just how my life turned out. So, that's for me. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. true. No, because I always wonder, like, if I didn't do certain things, where would I be in my life? Mm -hmm. Like, I've always wanted to, if I could, like, grow up in Kenya. Always yeah, wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. But, like, circumstances, whatever, we're here. Yeah. But then I wouldn't know the people I know here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Very, very true. So I always wonder, like, if I lived life a different way. I wouldn't be here. I would not sit, be sitting on this couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Very true. Very true. Yeah. So everything that happens to you, it happens to you for a reason. Mm -hmm. and you One way or the exactly. other, yeah. Whether negative or positive. And yeah. you come out of that situation yeah. or those situations stronger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then so. it's still up to you if, if if say it is a negative situation that happens yeah. in your teens and you're like, oh, if I change that, I could be here. Well, like you said, same with education. You still have that ability to do it. To, to do change. It. Change is inevitable. It's something that you do, right? Exactly. So what about you? Exactly. Um, Again, I, I feel very much the same way. I wouldn't be the person and where I am now if I... We went to high school together, by the we way. Did. <laughs> we did. We were Sherwood Saints. Together. Oh. Sherwood Saints. <laughs> yes, we were opinionated people in high school. I we do were. remember. Holy yes, I do remember. We very much were opinionated and we said a piece. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And you know what? And I think, too, in finding my voice as a young woman, I mean, that that's key to the person that I am now. So um, I don't... I don't know. I kind of in one it, when it comes to education, though, I, I do have to agree there are, there are certain courses of study that I wish I had taken. Mm -hmm. I was actually not confident enough to pursue drama and to pursue really? arts when I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I just I felt too shy. I felt too inhibited. I, I always thought oh, I was a little bit afraid of what people would think. And I yeah. wouldn't even have thought that because yeah. she had. To, I felt like you had like. I think when we ended up connecting was through when Facebook. Yeah. It was through Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And I when I was like, oh my god, Laura, I remember my memory of you is just she had such a bright personality about you. And that's what made me remember. Yeah, I remember she always had a smile on her face, she was just a bright personality and she was just very down to earth. Yeah. You know, so hearing that from yeah. my perspective and hearing that it's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what was going on inside, yeah, right? Yeah. Like so I was still really kind of figuring yeah. it out, but um, but at the end of the day, like once once I got that high school diploma in my hand, boy, I rebelled hardcore, mm -hmm. and I just I spun off. I was out of control when I was a teenager. Uh. But then, once I kind of reeled it in and and found my found my balance, found my senses. Um, literally, my life has unfolded in such an amazing way from that point on. So. You know, if I if I could have turned back time, yes, I probably would have pursued a different cor course of study. Mm -hmm. But it definitely part of my rebellion. I'm thankful for that mm -hmm. because it led me to where I am now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I can't kind of trade it in. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have met my husband. I wouldn't have met. I wouldn't have had my son. So yeah. exactly. you know, I really, yeah. I kind of needed so things to be the way yeah. they were. Right? We needed those yeah. shitty times. Yeah. Those shitty times were important. They're important. No, really. Think about it. Yeah. 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 Ye
huge life blessing. If you had so. a chance to change one thing, that could have trickled That's and changed so that many. That butterfly oh, yeah. It's yeah. a ripple effect of one yeah. tiny change. Yeah. You know? it, and it's scary too. As, as it much is. as you think about all the whether you went through hardships, you know, I know growing up there was a lot of hardships I went through and at the time, you know, it's that whole, man, what, I gotta go through this, it's unfair, woe is me and stuff like that. And it's hard at that time to see, you know, foresight into the future of what's mm -hmm. gonna come. But I think over the course of your life, as long as, you know, you have that path where it's like, I know I could keep veering Right. Negative left mm -hmm. or positive right, you know, and okay. as long as you always end up back on that path I think you'll you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine as long as you keep coming back because it's you're coming back to self Yeah, right? everybody yeah. relapses. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, you're supposed to. It's, it's your you life challenge mm -hmm. Exactly. As long as you, you just don't dwell on it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. don't That's regret. I always say don't regret your past Regrets. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. Because you're hindering yourself and that negative regret. energy that you're harboring yeah. yourself. Yeah. People need Absolutely. to learn to let things go. Exactly. Absolutely. Things it's hard, yeah. but you have to just let yeah. it go. Yeah. Life let it go. The universe let it go. It's like, yo, it happened. You yeah. know. Yeah. Done went through yeah. it. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. The energy is now manifested into something else. Mm -hmm. Manifest yeah. yourself into something positive. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Well, all we've got is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We cannot control. Mm -hmm. We can't change what happened before, and we have no control over the future. Yeah. None. Yeah. So all you can do is just live for the moment exactly. yeah. and each moment leads to the next mm. and just just flow and enjoy can the you moment. imagine if the world funny. lived in the moment jeez wow uh, like really interesting yeah <laughs> there was like no robots in the street <laughs> 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 In 10 minutes, I'm going to be here at this meeting, <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. The funny thing is, in terms of you saying you can't change the future or live for the now, I kind of have to disagree. On Only on a certain level, though, yes, because even when you play chess, yes, you are watching your pawns, you're watching what goes on, but you always have to know, you know what, what's coming the next step Oh yeah, 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 you can yeah, totally yeah. strategize yeah. and have yeah. goals Oh yeah, and yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. You know, I find there there are some, just some people who are, you know, rigid, really rigid. Yeah, they're not fluid.